Hi, this is Matthew Elliott from uh, the Warrior Combat Academy. Um, I'm 19 years old and this is my gym. Um, you guys don't give a crap about that though. You clicked on this video to learn how to use a speed bag. So let's get into that. Um, so the first thing we're going to talk about um, when selecting your speed bag is if you're a beginner, you want to make sure you're getting um, basically the biggest bag possible. Okay. If you start out with a bag like this size, like my beautiful precious little baby here, um, chances are you're probably going to have issues. Okay. Um, the other thing is uh, this speed bag is adjustable, um, but what you basically where you want your bag to hang is um, you would want your bag to hang from when you're in your fighting stance where your chin would be that's where basically you'd want the bottom of the bag. Obviously this one's a little high it is adjustable but I'm not going to waste your guys' time going through and adjusting it down to my height so I'm just going to do it at this height for now okay so um, the first thing we're going to talk about is uh, just the basics of hitting a speed bag in general and gaining your basic rhythm okay so when you're first starting, I have people usually start in more of like a box stance, a square stance, so that way their hands will be at equal distances from the bag. So when you're learning, most people are right-handed and they have issues with their left hand and stuff. Because it's at different distances, it's hard to get them both up to par um, around the same time. So anyhow, so you're starting your box stance, okay? Um, later on, you'll get into things in your normal stance, keeping your chin down, stuff like that. But for right now, all you're going to do is you're going to hop in your stance, you're going to keep your opposite side hand up, almost like you would have it in a, in a um, defensive position. Um, and what we're going to look to do is we're going to make a fist and we're going to tilt our wrist towards the back to where when I hit, I'm hitting with all four of my knuckles and not the outside of my hand. Okay? Because the speed bag is here for you to work on um, extension on your punches. Okay? So how fast your elbow can extend and get to the target. Um, works on your rhythm, but also works on your accuracy. Now, accuracy doesn't just mean hitting the bag. I can hit the bag with open hands all day, but if you're not doing open hand fighting, then that doesn't help you at all. So, um, you really want to be trying to aim for using your big two knuckles, okay? Occasionally, it's alright if you're on uh, your third knuckle. Um, but you don't want to be pinking it, you don't want to be like hammer fisting it, okay? So, the first thing you're going to look to do is. Um, you're going to be making little ovals, okay? The key here, what people will be missing is um, they will, and obviously this isn't a realistic punch right now, but just for gaining rhythm and timing and things like that in the bag, this is how you start. Um, if you're dropping your hand too low, it's going to take too long for you to get back up and hit the bag again. So I recommend not letting your hand go much lower than uh, your jaw as it's coming through, okay? But what you're going to look to do is you're going to hit the bag, it's going to hit the back side, front side, back side again, and then your hand, okay? So start out slow just like this. Once you're confident in doing this, then you can switch hands. And that's your, uh, that's your basic rhythm 